gonna make the classic tiropita with puff pastry. Very simple to make because you're saving the time and the effort to kind of like uh, oil and layer the filo dough. And it's all gonna get done in pretty much the same way. So let's get the show on the road. First things first, preheat your oven. 375 degrees Fahrenheit or about 180 degrees Celsius and that way we do it and we forget about it. The next part of this is grab a bowl, just something simple like this and you're going to need about a pound or so of feta. You could use a food processor for this which is fine but I prefer to do it kind of the rustic way which is how they used to do it, just crumbling it by by your hands and you can have big chunks, little chunks, doesn't matter. The next part of this is I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Actually, I don't mind going a little heavier on the pepper. Now, in this I'm going to add maybe a couple, three tablespoons of the Greek extra virgin olive oil. So that's there now. I'm going to take three eggs and I'm just going to beat them up real quick. I'm going to grab a fork. Just really quick. Just beat your eggs. You're not trying to scramble them. You just want to kind of just break them apart. Just like that. And now all you're going to do is just fold this mixture in. Actually, what I'll use is a spatula. It'll be a lot easier to mix and fold. All right, so now that our feta filling is out of the way, time to work with our dough. And for this, I'm just using a pre-store-bought uh, puff pastry dough, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna divide it in half. I'm gonna take a little flour in my working surface here. Nothing uh, complicated. Perfect, just like that. And what I'm going to do is just slowly start rolling out my dough. And for this, I'm using the Peacemaker, this thing. And it's very easy. Just grab a little bit here and just pre-do your roller. And just slowly start rolling out your, uh, your puff pastry. Believe me when I tell you, if I can do this, you can do this too. And if it doesn't turn out perfect, what's our rule? It's rustic. So here is the bottom section of my puff pastry ready to go. Time to work on this piece here, the top. So let me just take this and roll this and just move this out to the side here and bring our this sheet here, which is a little odd shape, but it still works. Now, here's the thing, I'm going to take all this beautiful filling and I'm just going to layer it and put it over my, my puff pastry. And I like to go a little thicker when it comes to the, to the filling inside, especially on my pitas. You know what? The, the pita police aren't going to come and tell you it's too thick or too thin. You kind of play it by ear with how much you want to put in there. I like to be actually more on the generous side. From, for me, that is. We're going to take now the top sheet of my puff pastry. Just going to layer it over it, just like that, and the sides. So now, with this done, just like that, I'm going to take the fork and very quickly just crimp the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be 100%. You just have to keep the two puff pastries sealed as, as much as you can. All right, perfect. That's it for this in terms of the pita. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle it over top. And this is going to give us like such a beautiful color as well. It's going to crisp it up make it so gorgeous. It's going to add to the flavor as well because olive oil does like wonders for anything you put it in. And because this is a savory pita, our rule, 
olive oil for savory, butter for sweet. So, boom, this is ready to go in our oven. Again, 375. This is going to bake now for about 30 to 40 minutes, give or take, but just keep an eye on it. And I'll be back and we'll see how it turned out. is literally literally right out of the oven it is like screaming hot like this is like holy crap this is hot it is done to absolute perfection it took exactly 40 minutes at 375 it's you feel that that you hear that that's exactly what what you want It is unbelievably, it, it, it takes me back to the bakeries in Greece, the maintenance, it's remarkable, absolutely remarkable. So my friends, that's it for this recipe on Greek Kirovita using puff pastry instead of filo. It's easier, just as delicious, and you know what? You have to try it. Please, you have to try it. This is so good and a snap to make. So my friends, until next time, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and share this video. Also check me out on my new beta version website, www.kensgreektable.com. I'll be adding all my recipes there slowly over time. And until next time, thanks for watching again. Bye for now.